this week on fan service, we finally decide the best anime of 2019. Zone, 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 zone. Anime zone. You don't know what that is, but you will in a few. You'll figure it out. Hey everyone, how's it going? Oh my gosh, we're in. The, we're in it now. Where are we at? We're, we are at. Uh, no, we don't say the location of our buildings. Oh. We're in it though. We're in we're the in anime, it. Zone, zone, zone. anime zone. Zone. Anime zone. Coming to you live from the anime zone. <laughs> 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 yes, we record it every year in the ethereal plane known only as the anime zone. zone where we exist zone, zone, as two D images being represented in a three D space on your screen. Can we? Yes. Every time someone says the word zone, zone. we have to yes. echo. Yes. This is fan service, Richard T's official anime podcast. Mm-hmm. I am one of your hosts, and I am joined by these lovely people who are Isa, Miles, and Chris. Chris? <gasps> Chris. Wait a second. Nani. Hold on. I'm just getting word in. <laughs> that's a name that's new to the show. Oh my God. Well, so what we is... have had a Chris, but this Chris is I was going to say, you new. couldn't have not had a Chris. I was going to say, Chris, who, what, what Chris are you? Oh, I'm, I'm the best Chris. What's your last name? Oh, right sorry. Here, yeah. <laughs> no, wow. say it. Say it with fucking pride. I'm Chris Coquinos. Yeah! Oh my God. Chris Coquinos. What other Chris? I'm gonna, we yeah. had Chris, Um, I can't remember his last name. Bakugo. Uh, no, his name is. Oh, wait. His name is. Oh. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> I swear we've had a Chris on the show. Who am I thinking of? We We're going to come back to it. We're going to come back to it later. Yikes. Sorry. It's just every time so, we get sent to the anime zone, all of our We're also, zone, we're also zone, already zone, breaking zone, laws, zone. drinking claws. Drinking true. claws. There ain't no breaking laws. laws oh, drinking laws, drinking claws. There ain't no laws, there ain't drinking claws. Ain't no yeah. flaw with the claw. Kokinos, what Hi. is it that you do here at Rooster Teeth Animation? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I'm the head of the audio department for animation. Ooh. Fuck yeah. 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 So I got a cool ass team and we make a bunch of cool. You said a cuss, and so now I, I had to say a cuss. We're allowed to cuss. Oh, good. I like to say a cuss. Breaking um, laws. Yeah, Unless drinking it's the claws. first 15 minutes, which I guess we have to censor, but we'll just oh. beep it. Yeah. Tyler, what's the rule? Tyler what? doesn't know the rule about Tyler's yeah. wearing Tyler doesn't, well, well, We're drinking claws, so there's no law. No so we law. can cast oh, as much as claws. Fuck you, YouTube. Whoa! <laughs> Edit that out, edit that out. We're done. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, what do you. I'm the head of the audio department. I have an awesome team. We work on all the animated properties that we do here, with the exception of RTAA. Yeah. Um, not only animated, you help out with live action. Live stuff. action. Yeah, we do a oh, lot. Yeah, I mean, right. we've we've worked on some of the, the shorts for um, the live action department. We did the Halloween horror shorts that just yeah. came out last Halloween. <laughs> and some other like good fun fun adventures yeah. throughout cool. audio times. You speaking of a holiday just reminded me. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Today should be the first when this episode goes live. Oh, really? This comes out on January 1st? This should be January 1st. We should do this a, entire get... episode in whispers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry too about late, your I laughed. <laughs> Anime your zone. Um, so wow, so the decade's well, over. And I I like <laughs> that's weird yeah. to say. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a self plug because I like the addition of Chris to this team. Hi. Okay. Uh, first off, like you and I have talked about anime together for so Hi. long in the oh, editorial. Yeah, dude. Um, secondly, because I think you also do bring a unique um, perspective point, perspective to the show because all of us, I think, are more visual mm. in nature. And like, I mean, 50% of your television watching experience is audio. Yeah. So they're telling a story with audio as much as they're telling a story with video. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we neglect that more than we should. I mean, that's most true. more often than not, though, it's it's pretty commonplace that that's, yeah. the, that's the case, right? Like, you know, a lot of times you look at at you know schedules in production, people like kind of forget that audio needs time to do the work. So yeah. everybody's like, we're focusing on animation, we're focusing on mm-hmm. vis effects, and so on and so forth. But it's like, don't forget about audio. We yeah. have stuff to do. Yeah, it's but yeah, it's a crazy. I feel like it's like a very common phenomena. Where you don't know what's wrong with mm-hmm. audio or with the sound unless it's wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If it's done right, you don't know. You don't Absolutely. Notice. Yeah. And that's why I Unsung think. Unsung heroes. It's weird because I hear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we, hear, we hear a lot of people who are. They'll come up to me and they'll be like, hey, I watched this thing and it sounded awful. And I thought about you because I appreciate you and your team and what you do. And I'm like, thank you for that. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That qualification there. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's so weird. Like, I, I spent a bunch of time watching, um, you know, Demon Slayer recently. And I will talk yes. about that soon. Yeah. But like, like. Paying attention to sound for me is exhausting. 
Because oh. I'm like just trying to analyze all the stuff that's happening. Yeah. I have to imagine it's probably the same for like animation, right? Uh, but that's actually another added layer that's very interesting because you do have to concentrate on the visual yeah. on top of everything else just to generate yeah. the audio. So it's even like double layer for you guys. Uh, visually, we can just be like we turn the sound off and we don't have to think. Sure. But you have to be in that zone, 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 yeah. zone, zone, just to yes. just to do <laughs> your job. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I'm I'm sitting here and I'm watching like some of the effects, which again we'll talk about later. But yeah. like it was just so cool to see how they were able to not only make it visually just so appealing, but orally like they just do so much with the mix yeah. and the sound design there. It's just yeah. like. It's like it's sexy. It's a very sexy sounding <laughs> show. <laughs> so. cool. Let's let's hop into it now. Uh, so whenever we get new people on the show, yeah. we want to kind of uh, figure out their anime identity. Okay. <laughs> because I feel like there's so much anime out there, and <laughs> we all watch a lot of the same things, but mm. sometimes we don't. Sometimes we watch things that are a little more niche for each one of us. Um, what are like? Give me three of your more niche favorite shows. Niche or niche favorite shows? Okay. Favorite show. I mean, even if it's not niche, like I what's can, I can, I, can I, I can hit you. Yeah. I, can, I got oh, you covered. Yeah, yeah. If you if you were to if you were like a three course meal that were to be served that needed to you needed to serve <laughs> up your three your, the realize. three the three courses the of writer, who is Chris writer over oh, here. Well, what, what would you start off? What's our what's our appetizer for for cooking us? Your appetizer. It's weird because it'd be a horrible primer. Well, actually, well, here, perfect. hold on, hold on. You know, this is a good way to do it. It's we it's, just we just yeah yeah that's that's great. I like that. So, so first and foremost, the, the first anime I really ever dove into, which is pretty commonplace, was Fullmetal Alchemist. Yeah. Nice. Right? I, Brotherhood or original? Like, original when it original, first yeah, came yeah. out, I had a lot of, like, stuff happening in my life. It's the first cartoon to ever make me cry. Oh, Ooh. nice. Like, I was in nice. tears at the end yeah. of that season, uh, or the end of the show, rather. Um, and so, oh, I got a great one for dessert. Uh, and so, <laughs> uh, to me, that was, like, this really impactful anime. It was just, it was so great. I didn't really, like... Well, I did. I had something in common with yeah. with Ed in that my I had a, a passing in the family. My mom had passed away, and so mm. uh, spoilers, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, you know, to me, it was just it was it. I was able to like tether myself to this weirdly unique experience. Mm. The show of you know I've never seen anything like before. Uh, so that was kind of like that's the 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 old appetizer. Nice. Uh, Main course. Main course is something a little more a little more flavorful. So more this unique. one this one was this one was interesting. Um, so I was telling Cole this the other day, the reason I actually started watching anime, like, in full, yeah. was actually because we were shooting fan service mm. when we were, you know, all in this one really? building. Oh, yeah. okay. And so we were talking about, like, we were talking about, like, ReZero and some of those other shows, and I love ReZero, and I, I would totally put that as my main course because it's really incredible. But I'm actually going to say Akame Ga Kill. Oh, I've heard that name a bajillion times, and I always it's forget what it's about. one of Carrie's favorites. It is incredible. It's, yeah, it's hard. Hmm. It's a hard, it's hard show to, to watch. Oh, hard to watch. It's hard. Oh, it's hard to watch because there's just like violence. Oh, massive amounts of violence. Okay. No oh, blood ever. Oh, no main, no main character is safe. No, okay. no one. Are we is talking safe. like berserk level, like like horrible body, bloody. Uh, it not, does get pretty not brutal. Hit not as berserk level, okay. but it's I. Th well, berserk. I also think because of the the like sheer amount of like nonstop gore, you start to become desensitized to it. This, I sometimes find less also, gore is more impactful. This also, all of the visuals in Berserk are a little more it's over the top. Terse. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it, you see guts and you're like, oh, that's a, that's a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you see characters. That is in, very true. It's you see characters in a comic got kill and you're like, oh, it's a cute little girl who's going to like rip off people's limbs yeah. with sure. her bare Legit. hands. Legitimately, that's like a thing. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a deep cut too because it was one of those shows where I was like, like I couldn't stop watching it. What is it about? I could give it. got kill. I guess it's interesting. The best way to describe it is that there's like uh, corrupt politics happening in this land, okay. mm -hmm. and there's a group of assassins who are effectively trying to overthrow this gotcha. yeah. okay. political power. I don't want to give too many spoilers because there's a lot that kind sure, of sure. developed. But it was like, show. was it the espionage angle that that drew you What's, to it or? What is it specifically? It was about the character. It was the characters. the characters. I think the characters. Like I, that was another one of those shows. And like I, I found myself to be a little more sensitive um, in my in my old age. Um, but like, as characters started to like, you see that death flag come up. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like getting tear like teary eyed right now just thinking about some of those moments where it was like, I loved this character. Oh my god, that well, okay. This, oh okay. Well, <laughs> and that's that. Yeah. Nice, nice. Dang. So yeah, it's it, it's really it's really great. First episode will hook you. Okay. Yeah, hey, first episode. Will it's one of those things where crunchy, funny, crunchy, probably Hulu. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I watched it on Crunchy. Um, <laughs> Sorry, when you said crunchy, funny, I was like, oh, we're describing the show now. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit crunchy. <laughs> I know it's a little bit funny. A little bit crunchy. I don't think it's on funny. I don't okay. think it's funny. 
Um, no Funimation. Sorry, no Funimation. Folks. Yeah, it's a it's a great show. I, I truly I recommend it. Um, and, and bring this in for dessert. Oh, I, right. I, I think I know where you're gonna go. I don't dessert. know if you know where I'm going far left with the dessert. Right oh. now. Dessert. I'm thinking this is something rich, something you love. <laughs> the, the show I'm thinking is a show we talked a lot about. Oh no, it's not then. Okay, no. Okay, Wait, what's for dessert, no. Chris? So what you serving? I up? actually I said Full Metal was the first anime I'd ever watched, but there is one anime that I did watch that I never really truly classified as anime. Sure, it's a show called Cran Shin Chan. <gasps> Shin Chan, yo, dog. Oh, it is one hundred percent anime. Thank you. I wow. loved that show so much, and then when I worked at King's Law, the last place I worked at, yeah. and I found out that I was going to be doing VO recording at the time, uh-huh. they brought in a gentleman by the name of Jason Liebrig. Oh. And I knew that name because he plays the voice of Principal Ench. Oh my god! And I remember, like, I was like, it was like five, six, six, seven years ago, and I just remember that whole moment. I was just like, this is incredible. For for people who may not know, tell oh us god, about, tell us what dessert's all about. Cran Shin Chan is crudely drawn animation about a small boy who has no problem showing off his little pee pee. His little pee pee. I'm glad it. your mind went there for it. When everything is Shin Chan, I'm just like, oh, the boy dick show. Yeah, the boy dick show. <laughs> yeah, like Charlie Brown if he was hor- if he was oh rude and showed his dick. God. Yeah, he's got the Mr. Elephant anime dance. peanuts. Yeah, yeah, it's literally anime peanuts meets Simpsons. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a good that's a good comp. Uh, there were some other ones that I wanted to talk about, but I thought I, I thought you were going to say Sweetness and Lightning. Yeah, Sweetness and Lightning oh, is like I, see. I don't even know what this one is. It's, it's the, the it's your favorite show you've never heard about. You, you personally. need to watch it. Oh yeah, Grand yeah. Shin Chan is like the dessert. If you're like, you know what, I want something fun and like this is just off the wall. Like someone sure. just gave me yeah. ice cream in a fucking sink. Yeah, <laughs> Sweetness and Lightning is like oh, it's decadent. It's, oh yeah, Sweetness and Lightning is like this like. Beautiful, like wonderfully, it's, just heartfelt, heart wrenching. A yeah. single father bonding with his daughter. Oh, it's cooking. so good! It's so incredibly good. <laughs> Miles, <laughs> it's so, and it's short. I think it was like what? Short. Episodes? It was also one episodes, of the few yeah. cases where the daughter was actually voiced by a child. A child, yeah. She and she's very... the cutest <laughs> thing on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, um, super. Adorable. You sang you you sang wasn't it like the shark song? That the shark she song. Sang? Yeah, because yeah. we somebody put the shark song in for when we used to do. Uh, Shot of the week. Yeah, so we did the shark song, and I was like, oh, "That's yeah. an instant win." Like, yeah, that was yours. No matter that what, was yours. shark song wins. Yeah, um, show gonna make me cry. It's so good. Oh, it will, oh yeah, yes. it will make <laughs> you cry, dude. You were gonna cry so much because it's a crier. It's also uh, they learn they bond over cooking with a one of his students mm-hmm. who oh, yeah. has a very good family life, but her mom is a television chef, yeah. so she's and not so home. not home as often as the the. Uh, student would spoilers, like spoilers, spoilers. Let him, let him. That's but no, that's like, okay. it's like yeah, that's groundwork. Laying right. the groundwork. Yeah. Sweetness and lightning. Sweetness yeah. and lightning. Oh, it's dude, on it's, crunchy. It's crunchy. one of those shows that again, I think I watched after fan service because you had talked about it, yeah. mm. and then from then on, I was just like, it's a short. You can watch it in I don't know one sitting. And oh, you gosh. learn how to cook, and Real you quick. learn why children don't like peppers. Yeah. Oh. Back to Crayon Sun Chan, uh, which is funny. I've been watching that to learn Japanese. Really? Yeah. I turn off the subtitles, and it's a very so, like, with, with learning Japanese, um, I've been doing a lot of research yes. in that the best way to learn, and for a lot of, a general best way to learn is to watch children's shows. Yeah, makes sense. Because what they'll do is they'll hold up an item and say the name of the item, <laughs> and you'll start to pick up stuff. Because I was trying to watch Terrace House. Oh, the problem boy. with that is yeah, they just sit around luck. a table and talk. It's a lot of slang, a lot oh, of, yeah. like, slang, slang, a lot of, like, mumbling. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's also, th- they'll sit there and talk. And they won't hold up a visual representation of what they're talking about. Yeah. Whereas Shin Chan, like, you see, like, he's holding up, like, action figure and, like, saying, <clears throat> Action figure. A- action bastard. <laughs> it's action man in the show. But, <laughs> but and, I, yeah, I wanted and, to clarify when you said that, I'm like, well, actually, I've only watched the American dubbed version, oh. and they go very off the wall with the yes. script. Oh, it's a very so fun like, like, script. Action figure is what they say in, in the action Japanese, man. but it's, or action man. Action man. In the American dubbed version, it's like action bastard. Action bastard. And there's a lot of like really <laughs> crass, like dirty humor. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. And it is it's, so funny. It's the show that all the kids want to watch that <laughs> yeah. the parents are like, uh, like, yeah, this is questionable. Like, I really don't want to watch this show with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. really funny. That was a delicious meal, Chris. Thank, mm. thank you. Mm. I'm so full of it. I hope you're. Mm. I hope you've liked my meal in the anime zone. Zone, zone, zone. zone, zone, zone. zone, zone. So, what else are we talking about today? Well, okay. How do we want to do it? So we we have the first ever fannies, <laughs> like the fan service butts. anime awards. The butts. Okay. The fannies. It's at the butt okay. of the year. It's at the end. Well, of the year. See, now here's the thing. You you've kind of just chosen. Fanny. This as the name without any sort of consultation. Did you do any peer review? 
Did you focus groups on the name? Well, when I first brought it up to you guys, that was me testing the waters to right. see how and, we liked and it. And you got like, and you still thought it was cool, and I just kind of like gave you that face. Well, no, because I, I gave other eyebrows. options, and you said no. No, so, we'll talk about the so, fannies. We're gonna so, stick to the fannies. So, so do you know? Um, do you know that in England, fanny packs are called bum bags? Oh. Do you know why? Because fanny's the- vagina. <laughs> that works perfectly. In, oh. in the U.S., it's butts. In England, it's vaginas. Wow. <laughs> wow, that, that changes a lot for me right now. Like, so you ready to give out the inaugural fannies? Like, the I vagina feel, awards. I feel really bad for any woman probably born in like the mid-1900s named Fanny now. Oh. Just yeah. for that reason. Mm. That's a bad Throw time. Throw an R in there. Franny. 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 Oh. Franny Drescher. All right, so we want to hand out some fannies. Um, are hand there? What, I can't. What is, what is the criteria can't right now? Are we going? Are we going hardcore IGN nine point two? Too much water on this shit? Yes. Or are we like going to be like this is a recommendation? It gets fanny. Yes and yes. Oh fuck, <laughs> Lee, um, I can't well, right now with this. I gave you all thing. homework. Yes, you before. did. Oh yes, um, yes, yes. And we we got there. We got there. Uh, I wanted people to come with four shows. Yes. That they wanted to say, they would want to put either like, like because you know how the Oscars like, it's like the meta game of even getting nominated oh, is yeah. kind of a nod. Sure. It's yeah, like, if, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Studio Bones finds out that they got a Fanny nomination for us, like that's going on their They're next promo. Because well, all we're gonna, gonna, gonna do is so send excited. them. We're gonna send them a jar of honey. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, congratulations. Why? You want a Fanny? Wait, <laughs> why? A jar of honey. I think it was because the alternate. The alternate name. was the Golden Honey. Golden okay. Honey. So right. now we're just gonna send them honey anyways. And they're just gonna be like, <laughs> I don't understand the correlation. And who is Cole? We should yeah. send, we should send it in a fanny pack. It'll make way more sense. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. That oh, much, so that'll much clear more things sense. up. So when more. we go in March, we can just That's hand it. deliver it to these studios. Oh, okay. just, uh, uh, a fanny pack dipped in honey. They'll totally and you hand it to them, and they'll just be like, Oh, I got the because I am. I got the. Just walk away. We won't talk. That's all. That's our interaction. They won't let us in. So I feel like I want to preface this by saying like i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the mainstream voter i'm gonna be that person who's like oh this was the popular one Uh, hey isa i don't think you're gonna be the only one (laughs) yeah you might not be alone just uh just throwing that out there yeah because maybe not all of us watch a lot of anime all the time and maybe only technically watch like two shows from this year i think you watched more i watched a little more um, you watch but a lot the of majority shows. of the anime that I watched was anime from years past that, yeah. that was long like overdue. Evangelion, it was more go- Evangelion uh, Golden uh, uh, Kamui, um, Recreators. Recreators. Uh, yeah, it was a bunch of shit that should have been watched long ago, but I, do I just have, not got around to. Well, yeah. So, I, ahead, sorry. I do have like um, some other things too. Like, it's like those honorable mentions for that season, though, that I think everyone else has also heard, but it may not have been their favorite sure. kind mm. of a thing. I also don't know how are we going to set rules. Do we want to go by seasons? Do we want to start with winter twenty nineteen? I want to go, go, go by seasons. seasons. I had to cheat when I figured out that I didn't really watch any anime from the last or from the winter season of twenty nineteen. Um, well, I don't think I did either. But I I do have one that is it's persisted throughout. It was many a day. Many a day. day. So what were I see? You got my anime list open over there. What were some of the what, some of the bigger shows that came out winter twenty nineteen back so, long ago when we were so much younger and more pure of heart? According to my anime that. list, here are the top <laughs> like five shows that people were following. We had um, Shield Hero. Yes. Okay. It was Isekai. Uh, dude goes to uh, yeah. gets summoned to another world. Tyler's and nodding off screen. People hate him because okay. he's the Tyler Shield Hero. Likes it. Okay. Uh, Promised to Neverland. Yeah. Promised to Neverland. One of the ones that I should have watched, yes. but didn't. <laughs> Mob Psycho 2. Oh, okay. yeah, that came out. Uh, that was this year. Kaguya Sama? Yep. And Dododo. Okay. Dododo. It's not all those. Are we choosing from that group there? No. Oh, I mean, no, 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 no. Was there another one that season? Some, some of the ones that just came out in That was just like, because also like the Seriously? quintuplet show came out, um, mm. which the manga is really good on that right now. They just revealed who <gasps> the bride is. So okay. template oh. show. So it, spoilers. Um, throwing in another bit. Oh. Um, because it's my anime list, so that was a top series. My anime list will continue because they have ONAs now, which is original net animations. What is that? I had to look that up yesterday. Like it's, it's, series? It's, it's their way of saying this is this was released oh. on Netflix. It's, 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 well, oh. also it's an OVA. Yeah. OVA. It's OVAs yeah. technically have to be a physical, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Original video animation. Yeah. So those are mm. TV aired series. But then there's a whole section of my anime list code for ODAs, which is uh, oh, well, w- original net animation. Original net, yeah, this yeah. Is like streamed on Netflix. Okay. Um, there's also movies as well. Okay. There's a whole movie right. section. Oh, so and God. the reason Issa brings this up mm. is because you said you were going to be the mainstream. This is about like as far from mainstream as is it this? 
No. Oh. No, it's not that one. It, oh. that, that's actually in. Um, I have an, That was actually in a uh, summer. Because is, is I have oh, a summer. I have a summer O and A myself. Okay, okay. okay interesting. So. Yeah. All right. So winter two thousand nineteen. Winter twenty nineteen. <laughs> I didn't watch anything from it. So <laughs> yeah, someone else start, and I'm gonna um, nod and ask a lot was, of questions. Mine uh, was Mob Psycho two. I, I haven't Psycho seen two yet. Oh, Mob Psycho two is. It's so good. It's Mob good. Psycho, it's so good. Yeah, like same it. creator of One Punch Man, correct? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I like Mob Psycho better. For one. one punch man. Oh, oh then like, one pu- oh then one punch. Oh, no, man. I love okay. my I love Mob Psycho two better than one as well. Okay, okay. Like, oh, I love the second season okay. of Mob Psycho better than the first season okay, of Mob yeah. Psycho. Mob Psycho two was weird because I went into it and like, I have a problem that I need to get over. Of fandoms can deter me from having. Oh, dude, yeah. absolutely. If yeah. I feel like oversaturated by fandom saying, "Hey, like the show, like the show, like the show," yeah. then I'll step into it being like, "Okay, like, yeah." Whenever I see this, it reminds me of the fandom, mm. and. It's wholesome because like people are saying Mob Psycho is good for good reasons because it's a good show. Yeah, and I, so I went into it not wanting to like it, and I loved it. Like yeah. that's impressive. What is it about Mob Psycho season two that that thinks you make it that you think makes it noteworthy? Well, for it, it is definitely one of those sequels that does expand on its original okay. um, successfully. Yeah, not in a way that makes it uh, irrelevant or. Um, What's the other word? I'm redundant. Sure. Yeah. And and what's like the two sentence pitch for anybody that is not familiar with Mob Psycho? Mob Psycho 100 is a show about a boy psychic, who is an assistant to uh, a <laughs> con like artist. An game. I'm We're trying. To build the yeah. Matt lives over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An assistant to a con artist. Yeah. Okay. But it is wholesome. Great. It is. It's wholesome, <laughs> and it's it's kind of like like seeing Mob like. Kick ass, yeah. Is see mob, kick, but it, uh, it's like supernatural, and then the hidden genre super. of it bones. is action. Yeah, bones, it's awesome. bones. Right. studio bones. So the yeah. hidden genre is action, and the thing with season two is it does expand on mob growing up and growing out of, in some aspects, growing out of his relationship with this um, sensei figure that he has with, with Riggin. Yeah, it, it's um, developing that relationship, developing yeah to more, so. more so peers than. Mm-hmm. A subordinate mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wonder if like some shows don't execute on that second season particularly well because of the fact that some of them don't expect to maybe have a second season, mm. or and they were prepared for it and they're like, we have an idea for the big picture. Because sometimes it just feels like well, it, second season is just shoehorned in mm. to make it mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. The only other show that I could think of that you can fight all you want whether or not it's anime or not was Legend of Korra was one of the few series mm-hmm. that I could feel like. Mm-hmm. I feel like they had a plan, and then we're told you need to change that plan, and then we're told actually maybe this plan you need to change it one more time just because of like weird distribution. Like there's something yeah. about the story of that show that does not feel well, as cohesive. It also know, feels. I still, I still enjoyed it, but I also feel like with Cora, like season one could have been one and done. Oh yeah, it was kind of like well, I thought oh, that was the point, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways, yeah. we're not here to talk about Cora. Yeah. <laughs> Any other notable stuff about Mob Psycho season two? Um, I don't know. That's basically kind of the, the the gist of it. I think a lot of sequels nowadays have actually been getting better. Nice. That's good. Mine, which is kind of exciting. Crazy. Mine's a. It's really hard for me to say one because one I think is a better show and one I liked more. Ooh, Ooh that is super interesting. Well, let's let's throw them both out and then we'll see which one we want to talk. Promise about. Neverland okay. was the better show, or was I think the... Promise Neverland was the better show. Okay. okay. I think Kaguya-sama Love Is War is the show that I loved more. Uh, tell me so, why. Tell, tell okay. us about the so show. Kaguya-sama Love is War is about two students who go to a prestigious uh, private school. Mm. Uh, our president and vice president of student council, both of them have the mindset that whoever admits that whoever admits love first loses. To one uh, another? Yes. To anyone. To one another, to any, whoever, like, no matter what, because they're both from prestigious families who are all about own it, like having power. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I think to make yourself vulnerable to someone like that is a sign. Well, you're admitting you're admitting submission if you're like, oh. "Hey, I love you." It's, it's like, a real Khaleesi John Snow situation. Yes. <laughs> and so the entire show is just kind of framed around these very like relatable interactions of two people who are in love and don't know it themselves. Oh my god. Two of the most frustrating Sundares you've ever seen in your entire yeah. life. <laughs> but it's all like mind games because it's like, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my mom to buy a theater so that way I can then have an award, uh, a radio award to the station that he always listens to. So that way, whenever he listens to it, we'll say, oh, this is the magic winner. Here, you get two free tickets. 
and I'm going to do it to a movie that I've been saying that I want to watch, so that way he'll come over to oh me and offer me the tickets to go with him, thereby proving his love for me. Wow. That is... Convoluted. Yes. So comedy? Comedy. Very, yeah. very funny. Rom-com. I Rom-com. Think, yeah. Cool. yeah. How many I'm episodes? That. Twelve. Just one done season? Uh, it's No, it's a manga that's been going on gotcha. for a while, so it's... Yeah. It will be continuing. I, I, yeah, I think the manga is almost over. There he is. I, think so. I feel like I, I would grow frustrated point. and yeah. just be like, "One of you, just say it." There just are dirty. there are like steps that happen. Very it's cool. not the same okay. thing the entire time. Very like cool. each of them makes steps forward. There's also other characters they introduce, like yeah. the uh, the secretary. Chica is the best character in the show because oh, yeah, she's, she's like the most pure, innocent. Like they did a fun dance for one of the post. Or one of the credit sequences that was so good. <laughs> um, I was I, I was pointing enthusiastically because Callie, um, a friend of ours, is uh, the person who constantly recommends me stuff that I always end up liking. Mm. Um, Kaguya Sama, <coughs> she was telling me like you will love this, and that has been on my watch list for forever. Have so I saw this was like from this year, and I was like, oh, I should actually watch that. Wow. Okay. So yeah. the other one was Promised Neverland. That's right. Okay. So that was the other one, uh, which is shown in. What I like is the Shonen Jump series <coughs> mm-hmm. that, much like the other stuff I'm liking from Shonen Jump right now, kind of breaks the mold. Mm. Yeah. It's about these kids living in an orphanage that find out maybe they are being lied to and maybe they don't want to be adopted. Mm-hmm. Um, there there's some stuff going on. The Island Babies. This yeah. is a, it's, oh. just, it's very, uh, it doesn't, and correct me if I'm wrong, this doesn't sound like Shonen Jump like. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it's three characters are all these super intelligent kids right. who are like, like children. Uh, mm. One is like very intelligent about agility and how to like physically physically perform better than people. Yeah. Mm. Another one is like a chess guy who's like strategy. Another guy's book smarts. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So it's it's very like it's a, the the entire series is a giant chess game of like. Yeah. The people in charge and the kids trying to figure out. I don't want to spoil too much more that's because okay. the, the there's something in the first episode that happens that mm, okay that's the show that's the show yeah. yeah. Also, I think you know we're not gonna the fannies do not represent the best show of no. the year. They no, because that shit's fucking totally? subjective. Yeah, I think we're gonna always. talk about our favorite show yes. of the year. That's what yeah. we're gonna do. That's that sounds like fa- you love. That's what the fannies are all yeah. about. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what fannies all about. <laughs> okay, Chris, what was yours? Do you have anything from Winter 2019? Dude, I mean, I'm just gonna throw Chin Chan back out there because it's timeless. It is was, it still going? It's oh, still, it's still yeah. going. If you it's on the ongoing story. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to my anime list and you look at the number of episodes, it's a question mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there with like Conan and like, or I think yeah. Conan has, actually has a count. Conan has like 900 something. Yeah, but like, I think there's another one up there like One Piece doesn't have it, it has a question mark. Like they don't, they don't fucking know. Yeah. Amazing. 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 I don't fucking know. But so, yeah, that's just, it's just timeless. It's able I'm able to just go and like if I just want to put on an like a show, yeah, it's just easy for me to I'll have put, it. I'll I'll cave and say for the spring mob psycho. I'll oh, oh, for winter. winter, uh, for, winter. For, winter. winter. for winter. Yeah, I'll go okay, ahead and okay, throw okay. that up there as okay. I think okay. our winter place. I don't think yeah. when did when did uh Attack on Titan season three start? Was that uh so, spring or winter? Tech, technically okay. technically it was I, fall. Was it fall? Fall of last year was the first uh, half of the season. The second half oh, of the season yeah, technically was, was summer. this year. Okay. Yeah. All right, so winter 2019. Mob, Mob Psycho. Say Mob Psycho season two? Let's do it. I mean, I'd, I'd like to go. I have to go watch it now. Yeah. So now I'm excited. I, I've been hearing so much about Mob for <laughs> Yeah, years. I mean, they've, they've, the show, so, the first season was great. Yeah. So. Second so then we have spring. spring and I already see what I think is going to be our winner. Yeah. Um, what did my anime list have? Th- 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 top th- five, th- One Punch Man. Uh, season two. Season two. Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon, Demon Slayer, Slayer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Attack on Titan season two, season three, season part, three two. part two. Okay, yeah. So that was um, Fruits Basket and uh, the m- Wise Man's Grandchild Henja no Maho. It's funny. I didn't Maho. even. I I read the manga for Fruits Basket, but I haven't watched. Oh. Also notable entries: Carol and Tuesday. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That yeah. one looked really interesting. Of course. Stars yeah. on my. Um, other notable entry stars on my, yeah. um, and if you go down to ONAs, a Gretzico season. I was going to say, yeah. oh, fuck. And that was why, like, when, when you said, like, oh, your no. favorite and the better, it killed me because I'm like, like, I loved, <laughs> I loved a Gretzico. Yeah. I still need to watch so, season two. Here's I, the other oh, thing. season two is incredible. Like, I want to actually go over gaslighting. Yes. Yeah. And it's amazing. What yeah. are we going to do about shows that last one season into the next? Cause Demon because Slayer Demon Slayer was, is yeah. spring and fall. Well, I know what I'm doing then. <laughs> or spring, spring and summer. Spring and summer. Gives me a chance um, to split hmm. it up. I don't know. Because I think the 
parts that people like the most are probably going to be in the fall mm-hmm. or summer. I, I think it's. I think it's. It's. Can it take up both of those? Is that cheating? Well, I think why not? Why don't we just say the our favorite ones, and then we'll just if we all voted for Demon Slayer for both seasons, then <laughs> fuck it. That's where we're at. That's yeah. I'm, I'm fine this, with that. It's, it's Demon Slayer for me. Yeah, this kind of feels like yeah. that year where Breath of the Wild came out. And like every uh, like game reviewer and I podcast were, was like, oh, so yeah. far game of the year, excluding Breath of the Wild, what do we want to talk about? Yeah. At least that's how it felt to me. Interesting. Yeah. Demon Slayer was hands down. That that's my that's my fan annual fanny winner contender for me. It's um wow. you know, uh the two sentence summary. Uh a boy uh comes home to find his family slaughtered by demons. Yeah. Except uh, he, there's one sole survivor, his sister. But the only reason she's alive is because now it, it seems that she has been turned into a demon. And he must go on a quest to see if he can rescue her or if it will all be for nothing. But in order to do that, he must become a super strong demon okay, slayer. So I got a, a short story for you. So I was watching, because uh, I binged all of, all of Demon Slayer yes. recently. Um, and by the way, I'm still sticking with my, my guns. I think I'm going to vote for a Gretzko for that season. Nice. But I'm voting for a demon slayer for next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, So I, I was watching it. And it started to buffer. And I'm like, like this is before he had come home. It was when he went to like the grandfather's house and, mm-hmm. and hung out there. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm like watching. I'm like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Like what's he's gonna go home and something, something's gonna happen. And so it starts buffering and I like minimize it for a second. And I'm like, refresh. And I look and I just see at the bottom of like the the description of the episode is like, oh. you know, Tanjiro leaves and he comes home and his whole family is murdered by demons. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> is this? What I like, we watch on Crunchyroll? Uh yes. yes. So what's yes. interesting is the first for like the first week, Crunchyroll will uh erase. Well, the yeah, they won't put in the. We I used love to do that. that at I love that. When you stop, because marketing told us to. <laughs> <laughs> but it used to be we would we would only reveal episodes nice, nice, nice. after uh <laughs> after premiere. But um yeah, Demon Demon Slayers. Yeah. Yeah, I think the thing about Demon Slayer to me, um, a lot of people lost their mind over a later episode where they just crank up that animation. Oh yeah, you saw that budget to, like, just go yeah, like it's, it's money. Fucking great. Money. Budget works to me. Here's what money. I, what I loved about Demon Slayer is, um, I feel like a lot of people these days always say like, well, it's not very original. Like that show needs to be original. I like this because it's so original. I don't think Demon Slayer is a particularly original show. I yeah. think it is a it's a concept. That is, I've been done before. Like, okay, you know, mm. family is murdered. I have to go avenge this. Or like, oh, this. I guess what I'm saying is, it takes a lot of ingredients from a lot of things that yeah. have been made before, but it combines them in a way and executes it on such an unbelievably high level. In in a way, it reminds me of The Last of Us. The Last of Us is not a super original story, but that fucking execution was yeah. was fantastic. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. Demon Slayer, I think, just has flawless execution. Just it's dripping with it, dude. I, that's what I was saying. Like for me. And it's funny because I, I again said a Gretzko, but I've got to talk about Demon Slayer. For me, Demon Slayer was was just, it was, like you said, it was dripping in style. Yeah, it's yeah, like they took God. this show and they like like coming from a sound perspective. Like if you go and you listen to a lot of anime, it's a lot of the same sound effects are used across the board. Right. Mm. That's why like your name was such a big impact on me. It was that mm-hmm. they had like a like an actual team of foley artists. Like yeah, I think it was just two folks just doing foley for the entirety of the movie, yeah. and then of course they had wow. sound design go throughout. It was like they changed the soundscape mm. and in a lot of ways, and I don't know the exact breakdown, you know, I've talked about this before, but like, um, anime tends to cater to the higher frequencies because a lot of the smaller TVs can't, can't, oh, interesting. can't handle there, when it, that's that low end. Big localization is changing audio levels because you look at the general Japanese household right. has a small TV. Yes. They don't want to have big loud speakers because yeah. you are surrounded by other apartments. Right, you if you have a loud sound system, you're going to annoy your neighbors. <laughs> So it tends to be a smaller, so you have less space to deliver information. So normally mm-hmm. sound effects are super low. That is fascinating. And dialogue, dialogue is, is always on top. Very high. Oh, wait, I remember part of this conversation because two or three years ago we had this conversation about why hentai sound effects have changed throughout the years <laughs> and why they've evolved oh to having God. body sounds because sound systems got better. Well, yeah, but also on top of that, <laughs> and this is kind of a gross thought, but like body sounds typically are like the sticky wet sounds and yes. those are higher frequencies. Those are easier to cut through in sound effects. I mean, mm. uh, more often than not, if you think about like like 
like a fire sound or whatever. Like the reason you can hear fire is because you got the low end, but you also oh, yeah. have that crackling high end. Mm. More often than not, like when we have like torches and stuff and like Ruby, like you can hear that low end in the right. background. I'll get rid of all that shit and just leave the crackling there. You know what it is? It's, not, it's just noise. It cuts through exactly because if you have too much in that frequency space, yeah. it, it's yeah. nonsense. God, that's so cool. But yeah, so so they turned up the volume, no pun intended, on the audio and the visual for this series. Like they I really did. Yeah, I talked about this with Philip, uh, one of the guys on my team that were re-recording mixer for you know, all of our animation, uh, all animated shows now. We were, like, laughing about how we heard sound effects that we use in our shows in this show, which is not anything I've ever heard of before in uh, anime. Oh, that's really cool. So, yeah. Uh, I I will say, to to scale back, though, Gretzko was such a great show. For me, I'm a a metalhead, tried and true. Like, I've been listening to metal for a long time. Yeah. and like I've seen your college pictures. (laughs) Don't don't look that up after this. (laughs) Um, but yeah, and so what I thought was super neat was that it, it covered this, it was just unique, right? right. Gretzko yeah. in it and of itself as a series is just a unique show about this, you know, uh, small, uh, woman fox character, yeah. right? And it, I love that it's all like anthropomorph. It's like, uh. She fox or red panda? She's red panda. red panda. panda. Sorry, red panda. You're right. How dare you? Sorry. <laughs> sorry, there sorry, a fox sorry. There, there is, is a fox. Like, wait, it's the guy. Yeah. It, well, no, he's a hyena. No, no, there's another fox. There, there is. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Fennec. Fennec. No, Fennico there's a Fennico's a, 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 a Fennec fox. fox. Oh, that's not a fox. It is a fox. A type fox of fox. What pain. do you like about Agrexica? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love, no, I'm not done. <laughs> I, love that, I love that it followed her character in such a way that it was like, she's just going through the normal shit that like a normal working human would go through. Mm. And she's trying to like better her life. And the best way for her to do it is to find that quality of life in unleashing well, hell in a Karaoke room. If you're a it's Western incredible. anime viewer, the best comparison I could make to Gretzka is actually Tuca and Birdie. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I've like seen that. Tuca and Birdie yeah. leans way more into the like humor, kind of like absurd, raunchier sort of yeah. like crass humor, okay. whereas Gretzko leans into like full on like Eastern absurdity and like the, you know the this is the persona that you have at work versus the persona that you unleash in the karaoke yeah. room. And the the way I compare them a lot, like because that's exactly how I think of it. Mm. Um, both of the main character. In both series, the main characters are also flawed. Like, yes, they both can yes. make mistakes and mess up. Like sure. Retsuko, like uh, Retsuko makes mistakes. Sure, mm-hmm. she fucks up. She has misunderstandings that causes more problems for her later. Or it like, makes her so relatable. Yeah, yeah. And same thing with Tuka and Birdie. Like, That's yeah. It's it's uh, you can appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, right. One of the things I think that I find interesting about Agatsuko <laughs> is um, one of one of which is the Eastern lens on it, or at least the Japanese lens on it. Mm. You have a lot of shows here that are kind of about the working woman and about her kind of unleashing herself or being herself in a capacity. And in a Western way, sometimes that is kind of just being unapologetically yourself. Mm-hmm. But Agretzico is finding, the series is about this working woman who is trying to find ways to continue being a woman in this kind of society that's highly gendered. And has different values than we do, sure. like on, on the on the just straight up. So the way that they interestingly enough humanize her boss in season one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. get her to actually kind of find inspiration for that and keep working from him, even though at the end of the day he's still kind of an asshole. Oh yeah. But well, there's ends up being like this thing where it's like, oh, but you know she still kind of has to work under him, mm-hmm. and she's going to do that, and she'll find like. Well, and that's. That's something I feel getting strange, like into real world stuff. And I don't feel like people try to understand the other side enough. Yes. Mm -mm. And it's like you get to see why he is the way that he is. And it's like you don't have to agree with him. You don't have to. But you have like you can go like, oh, it gives you context. That's why like you've been exposed to this that made you the way that you are. Whether it's like learning like, hey, don't do that to other people. (laughs) You actually just reminded me. One thing I wanted to talk about was with regards to Demon Slayer. They do such a good job of doing that exact thing. Mm, that's true. true. Humanizing, this is the first anime that I've ever seen where they give you the, the bad guy, yeah. and they kill the bad guy off, but then they're like, oh, but here's the backstory in case It's the interested. Assassin's Creed yeah. assassination <laughs> moment oh, where yeah. they have that moment of, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah, I, I do want to, I would like to add to something I said earlier. I do think that is actually really original. It's unique. It's mm-hmm. very unique. I they, they spend a whole chunk <laughs> of an episode talking about this character who's gone. Yeah, yeah and it's it. because they want to take this moment to humanize this person yeah. or give well, you an idea to or the ability it, to identify what it that ultimately character was. Shows that Tanjiro's greatest strength is his kindness. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, even yeah. 
Amen. Empathy and kind of, like I, w- I also want to just say like also just his general kind of so because the, the reason True. that he survives is because he stayed mm-hmm. and helped people around town. Yeah, he mm-hmm. wanted to go and yep. sell some stuff to help his family. So he'll sell stuff, but then he saw that this person needed help, That's so he right. helped them. That's right. And he saw that this person and like the whole reason that he doesn't go home at night is because he helps that one guy, and the one guy's like, actually no, stay in. Right. Force yeah. is dangerous at night, and that's what allows him to not be there when his family's slaughtered. Yeah, and. We wouldn't have a series if he had gone home. Right, right. It's right. something else when you can ca- you can take the the villain of a story and and at least give them some human element, or even just give them a backstory. They could still be an awful piece of oh, shit human being. Yeah, that's, that's what makes that's Batman villains so fascinating. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. great. I mean, you get to see their their developing story. I mean, I I appreciate that about. And it's so funny because I was like, I'm talking about Gretzko, but then we go back to yeah, Demon Slayer. Yeah. You know what? Since Demon so Slayer can also count for our next one, I mean, maybe do we want to say Spring Gretzko? Because I feel like there's a lot of really strong. I, was there? So was there? I any have other summer. I think summer. I have onions. onions. Oh, I mean, no. As in, like, I, th- I would some say summer stuff. I do have summer mm. stuff. Yeah, Demon Slayer for me would be spring. Agretzko season two, just as like a, a finisher to top of the uh, to top this off, is I think very interesting in that uh, the way I did, looked at season two got so much more anxiety than season one. Oh yeah. Oh my god. But also, oh. yeah, no, just like oh my god, I I like I had to stop watching. Yeah. Um, because it really was just like. <gasps> It was too real, but the other part of it too, what I think is interesting about Agretzko is um, season two is how she um, s- learns to stay firm in what mm. she wants, okay. which is I think very. It's a very hard thing to do, a thing <laughs> as to a do. as a person like yeah. in the. Yeah. It's, it's hard to find that world. balance of staying firm and true to yourself, but also playing the game that everyone has to play yeah. when working with yeah. a company or with people in general. With people, yeah, yeah. With people. especially with her relationships. Even if you're yeah. Independent contract or. If you, even if you're working independent, you still are going to have to interact with people at some point or another. Yeah, sure. yeah. Do you have any more spring shout outs, Cole? No, no. Demon Slayer. I mean, I think I uh, spring, I was like, it's going to be pretty easy because Demon Slayer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll give spring, spring and Demon Slayer. I'll do a quick shout out for Carol on Tuesday. Nice. I think it's worth watching. I'm yeah. curious to see where it goes. Cool. The thing that, I, that, that, that held me back from it the most was it kind of sells you on this like, here's a grassroots story about two girls that, against all odds, managed to become big musical stars. Sure. And yet, those girls get more lucky breaks and coincidences than any <laughs> anyone would ever get. Everything seems to work out for them. Everything, yeah, that's the, that's the one thing. Yeah. The one thing that held me back was like, I feel like you're selling something, but you're not quite actually going through that's it. Like but someone, it's still a very, very yeah. charming show. They're right? writing it from a perspective of like, I don't know anything about this, but very I romantic. think it's really very romantic. Cool. Super very, romanticized. Yeah. Um, very right. feels like it's all destiny. Summer. Very yeah, cute. Get into summer. Right in the summer. What did Miami summer have 2019. Demon Slayer. <laughs> Miami list said Doctor Stone said um, Ineno Shobotai Fire Force. We got there. Don Machi. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Vinland Saga, which I think that's actually Ooh. the best series of the summer. Okay. Ooh. So but I have no votes. I have no horse in this race, but I will say that I watch trailers for all of those. And Vinland Saga, I love when anime does like Norse mythology. Vinland was. Well, it's, it's like it looks Norse, Norse mythology. It's yeah, Norse Wars, history. It's Norse history, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what um, I meant. Yeah, but I and mm, this show that. was sorry if anyone likes this. Uh, Ari Fueta, uh, it was bad. Which one's that one? Uh, Ari Fueta, from commonplace to world's strongest. Sounds like a light novel. Everyone. It is a light novel in which the main character like is such a good guy, but everyone hates on him. So one day he actually gets knocked. Like one of his teammates knocks him down the tunnel, and so he eats a bunch of demons and becomes powerful. And now he's the strongest in the world. Uh, ah, yes, I love when they're I happening. do have yeah. other ones. Which we've all I, eaten. Had, this all this season actually is my favorite. We've all eaten demons. Like again, this is another split season where I think Vinland Saga is the best show that came out that season. Mm. Um, but Astro Lost in Space was to Your, me the yeah. best. Was my mm. favorite show. Why? Mm. What's it about? Um, Astro Lost in Space is like in the future. Um, the People like have these space programs, summer camps. So, like, oh, you get to go live on a planet for the summer. I think I remember you telling me about this. Um, they arrive at the summer camp, and there's this white little ball that shows up, and all of a sudden, they are in the middle of space, not at their destination. Um, luckily for them, well, there's a lot of like, circ- uh, kind of what you were saying, like lucky circumstances that happen. Like, sure. whenever they pop back out in space, there's a ship right there that they can get on. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's part of it is that it was very intentional and planned, whatever the behind the scenes person is. Mm-hmm. Um, but essentially, they get on the ship and they re- they find out that they can make it back to where they're supposed to be, except their ship can only hold so much food and water. And there is only one path out of all of the infinite space paths that have 
that when they plan it out, it the time frame of their food and water will let them land on planets where they can refuel. It's like mm-hmm. FTL the anime. Yes. Oh shit. It also <laughs> handles people's relationships as well. Mm-hmm. It has great representation. There's like amazing representation. Oh, serious. Um that's cool. And it was like it was like the show nobody was talking about. What's it called again? Astro Lost in Space. It's on Funimation. I'll check that out. Um like it was super low tier on Funimation, like they didn't promote it at all. And I was like, this is the best show you have you guys mm. have playing this season. Mm, interesting. So all right. So other other things to know, at least for me anyway, um, Cannon Busters was a pre- premiered on Netflix. Mm. That's on mm. my anime list. Um, according to my anime's list as well, they actually released the Violet Evergarden movie in Japan, oh. which is it, which is actually kind of crazy because after the stuff that Kyoto Animation been through has that been was, through this year, yeah, was a, um, with the um, fire and mm-hmm. things like that, mm-hmm. I did not know that they were gonna. Pl- I did not know that they were still planning on releasing that movie. So I'm interested to see if there's gonna be a U.S. release for that. Wow. Um, the One Piece movie came out. One Piece Stampede. <laughs> is this the oh, end? Are they done with One Piece now? <laughs> They're getting close. Is that it? We're done. They're getting close. They're getting close. We're actually. done. And for the and U.S. always gonna get close. No, like they actually have like a schedule. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. And for the U.S. For us, at least, Premiere. Mm-hmm. Promare was there, Promare. and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off the beaten path for this one. Promare is my summer 2019. Tell me what is what is Promare? Promare is triggered studio triggers. Oh, all right, I'm already <laughs> sold. Yeah, yeah, I'm already right, sold. Right, right. The, the, nice, nice. I know my audience. <laughs> <laughs> studio triggers movie, and it it's man, you, you already know studio trigger. Anyone who's watching this knows studio trigger. It's just a mashup of everything that they've ever made into one two uh, one two hour spectacle <laughs> of like. Amazing, <laughs> or yeah, just like lots just of explosions, cool. uh, explosions, just yeah. visuals. I I, I want to. I wish I could explain it, but it is it is an experience. Flaming hot Cheetos for your flaming eyes. hot Cheetos for your eyes. Oh my Quoted god! T- done by Aaron. Can it, be, can it be Takis for my eyes instead? Oh yeah, yeah, it can I'll be Takis instead. for you. I'll I need take to see that movie one day. It's yeah. man, that that's my twenty nineteen. Yeah, I love I love somewhere. that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos. All right. for my so eyes. And then Demon Slayer was also was painful, actually. So uh, this is not a vote, but I think it's something worth mentioning. Doctor Stone. Yes. We've talked about Dr. Stone a few times over the course okay. of yes. the run of the show sell, since we came back. Sell me on this show because I, I watched the trailer I'm and to, I'm not. Oh. I'm not going to sell you on the show because I'm not sold on this show yet. Have you been watching it? So that's why I want to come in. Okay. A lot of people around the time we had RTX this year were telling me about Dr. Stone. You got to watch Dr. Stone. It is a show where um, an event happens in uh, modern day yeah. where all humans Turns and for some reason stone. swallows are immediately turned to stone. Sure. Uh, for 3,700 years mm-hmm. or 37,000 years. One of the, I don't know. I don't it's know, a 3, lot. 3,700. Yeah, 3, okay. Like, yeah, long great. time. And then uh, uh, one day, a uh, dude wakes up. Uh, I can't remember d- scientist's name. Uh, se- Senko. Se- Senko. Thank you. Senku. Senku. Senku, uh, essentially boy genius, uh, finds himself unpetrified. Tall white hair. Tall guy? white hair. Kind of looks like yeah. he has a green onion for hair. Yeah, that guy. Um, I synced it. And uh, he, he brings his friend, uh, who's a super strong boy, uh, he unpetrifies him. Super in dur- durable boy. Durable, yeah, durable, thick yeah, lad. A, yeah, the thing is, um, he's not scenes. strong in the sense that he can win in fights. Fair. Lots of scenes. They're both strong, very ca- willed, in ca- strong willed people. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, Senku's will uh, to constantly discover new things and and spread the good word of science and, and all that shit. And um, beefy boy, he, he wants to protect his friends. He's kind of like your standard shonen guy. Sure. Uh, which, interestingly enough, I learned from being on the show, he was the intended protagonist of the series. But uh, very soon after the start of the series, the mangaka realized, oh no, Senku is a much more interesting protagonist. And the story shifts Curious. over to Senku's perspective as a driving force of the story after a few episodes. And that is why I first stopped watching the show, because I didn't really care about Beefy Boy. It's not that I didn't care. It was that the the, the movie was the, the show was moving at a very snail's pace and like mm. though there were things that I found extremely charming about it as someone that like goes camping and like knows a lot of wilderness survival stuff, like I geek the fuck out whenever it's like we're going to talk about how to like make a fire and like here we're going to talk about how to make rope. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. To have a, you know, here, a, a show that yeah. is romanticizing that and showing off how cool knowledge is. I'm like, yeah, that's fucking cool. I really liked that. Mm. Um but the story itself, I was like, eh, it's okay. This guy's trying to revive his love and like all this other stuff. Um, I stopped watching at episode, I think it was five. Oh, wow. Uh, and a big thing happens. Big thing happens in episode five. Um, but for whatever reason, I was like, I'm good. I'm good. But so many people have told me over the course of the show that like w- I stopped like one or two episodes 
prior to when the shift happens. That's like that's and like then, a common thing to say though. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, no, just keep watching. It gets better. It's like and we had a conversation uh, about that yes. semi recently. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I uh, since our last recording, I watched two more episodes of the show. And I think I'm gonna keep watching it, <gasps> which is not something oh. that I expected to do. Okay. I, um, but at the inclusion of some new characters, one character in particular, the sorcerer, um, um, I suddenly found it much, I found every second to be much more enjoyable. So, yeah, because you just said something like what interested you was the, oh, let's build fire, how to make rope. They take that and they start going, let's make antibiotics <laughs> in this world with no technology, no anything. How do you make antibiotics? It is a extremely wholesome show mm -hmm. in that the driving action is knowledge and the mm -hmm. sharing of knowledge in the hopes that it will better well, humanity. Open source. It, yeah. It's so weird yeah. because yeah. it's what yeah. it's what I appreciated about Food Wars yeah. mm. was that they would go into the so, breakdown of an actual that's like dish because mm -hmm. it's the Shonen uh, Jump show as well. That's very much like the it's the what Food Wars is to food. Dr. Stone is to science. With less science. tits. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, well, well, they just introduced <laughs> one character. But no, I mean, like, I still, like, I'm not crazy about you how met, it looks. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! on, like, WB Kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. You met Melon Girl yet? No. Okay. I oh, met boy. Short Skirt Blue Girl with Treefall, mm. and she does kicks that should reveal a lot, but thanks to the power of anime, anime you, you only we're, see right. what they want to see. Anyways. We gotta, we gotta go because we're already at time, but we oh still have another gosh. season to get through. Oh, um, my gosh. Fall Wait, 2019. What did we end on as the as the winner for summer? Would we? Uh, what were what were they? It was uh, it was well, this is fall. Doctor Stone, Fire Force, or it's not Promare. I feel like everybody that's been on the show geeks out over Promare. Do we want to give? I'm ready premiere? to watch it. I'm I can't vote. vote. I can't vote. I'm, I'm like gonna go too, home yeah. and watch it right now. It's like I'm excited. What we do we say? It? We giving it to Promare. Sure. Issa. Promare. Promare. Happy Fanny. All right. Fall 2019. It's, uh, fall 2019. So That's my hero season. Um, Wait, where we were in fall, right? I no, thought we were in summer. This, now we're this, doing fall. That, this no, app's we're messing up. Fall. There we go. Yeah, there my hero, season Sword Art Online, uh, Seven Deadly Sins, Food Wars, and uh, Cautious Hero. So noticeably, all of a lot of them were sequels. Sequel two. Yeah. I mean, mine is the next one, Orisuki. That's the oh, yeah, I did the Cole Explains with the bench. Yeah, the bench. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's great. the only show this season that I'm constantly like, I need to go back and watch the. Ne I need to watch the next what is episode. It? Quick, two two sentence description. Oh. Cole explains, but very it short, is, very succinct. A uh, horror anime where the main character is um, kind of a bad guy. He's a real piece of shit. He's a real piece of shit, but he's a piece of shit in a. He's not like an actual like detriment to society, but he is bad because he finds that sometimes if he's an asshole, it helps people like kind of get over things easier. Oh, it's kind of maybe it's okay. kind of like the anti moral, so to speak. Yes, and oh. yeah. I mean ultimately yeah, but it's also yeah. like he's okay. actually doing good things for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Billy Eilish. She's the bad guy. Oh nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice, like, nice, 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 nice. There's nice. stuff where like people are like, Oh, well, um he'll he'll be the he'll be the one to say the brutal that. truth mm -hmm. or he'll make up brutal truth to help somebody get over yeah. Mm, and there's some absurd there. comedy in there that sounds really nice. There's a really good comedy. Oh, I, I can see how that's actually a thing because in most, at, at least from what I know of like modern Japanese society, um, you, it, your attitude or your behavior is centered around being polite. So mm. you actually never tell people. Well, and that's like his yeah, frontward sure. appearance is polite because he's like, oh, I'm going to be the, like, I'm going to have a harem. Like, yay, I'm going to get every girl to fall for me. But then he's like, in the first episode, he's all of a sudden like, oh no, I'm the side character. Like this other yeah. guy is the main character. Okay. But... It like it hop, starts hopping to things where like the main that guy is using both of those girls to try to get another girl. So et cetera. Basically, big trouble in Little China is nice, Kurt nice, Russell. nice, nice, yeah. nice. Step What's inside. That? Oh, my hero. My hero. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, 2019 was a very shown in a year for me. My hero season three continues to a four. We'll is it three or four. I think it's three, right? Four. Oh, it's four. My four. God. Four. We'll yeah. see whenever B Stars comes out. I know. I really want to watch B Stars. Um. I'm just, I continue to be impressed by my hero's ability to continue not only moving plot line forward, character storylines forward, but also continuing to do fascinating world building with every season. Mm. Like yeah. now we're in, we're, we're no longer just seeing uh, this is what it's like to be a pro hero. We're seeing what it's like for pro hero leagues to work together with police forces and what like prior, prior to this season, I feel like most of our villains have been exactly that. They have been villains. And we've seen how 
quirks have changed the landscape of the hero and villain and like justice system, mm -hmm. but we haven't really explored how quirks um, fucked with what we would consider today to be modern villains like the Yakuza and like organized crime and how that had a huge influence on a pre-existing sort of uh, uh, power group. Yeah, th those already existed. Right. How did the addition of powers and now this third, <laughs> like there was heroes or there was police and organized crime. Yes. Now well, there's heroes and villains. Heroes and villains. So it's this how did way. quirks also affect police and organized crime? Yeah. yeah. It's it's cool. just I I'm, I'm so. Every time I think I'm going to come back and I'm be like, well, it's probably going to start fizzling out soon. Nope. I'm like, oh, no. This is like, we'll, I didn't even know I wanted we'll to know about We'll see what people that. say after this season. That's what I've heard. Uh, we'll it's starting to pick up again now in the manga, but it's going to go through a rough patch here for a little bit. Okay. I still haven't watched My Hero. Nice. That's, good. That's right. Good he hasn't seen any. Nice, nice, really cool nice, show. nice. I've Maybe heard nothing but country. great things, but now I'm like, oh, my God, I got I, next week to watch through four seasons. <laughs> my, my Hero was my top anime when it came out and it was for a while Demon Slayer might dethrone it as my new favorite shonen yeah. Demon wow. Slayer is really good it's I'm really, curious really to see well how done. you'll feel about My Hero after watching Demon Slayer I, I'm gonna watch I it like, right now the re do it. reason I is Demon Slayer is edging out My Hero is because there is a completeness to Demon Slayer mm -hmm. that like I'm in I mean I loved how they ended it they're preparing us for what a movie now yeah. movie mm -hmm. that's well even like the manga is almost done oh the TV says it's we're done TV's like we're done. also huge style points for Demon Slayer yeah alright so that's our sign that we should probably wrap it up yep. uh, <laughs> uh, fan, uh, Wait, are we even are we even folded my hero it, what yeah but I mean Demon Slayer wins it all so. Demon Slayer wins yeah, it Demon all Slayer. Demon Slayer Demon Slayer Demon Slayer first ever fanny the fannies the fannies Demon Slayer wins Issa has an honorable mention Oh, do I? Okay, I'm going to end it with this. There is this um, ecchi anime that's uh, airing ecchi. this season. Ecchi, quote unquote. Nice. It's called XL Joshi, which oh, means extra large woman, I guess. Um, the description on my anime list is, Running short of money, office lady Saki Watase is introduced to a part-time job where she's tasked with reviewing extra large size condoms. Uh, While what? receiving an escort home after a night of drinking, Saki's demon boss, K quote unquote, Keisuke Sudo notices she's carrying a large quantity of condoms. When Saki explains her circumstances, Keisuke reveals that he is extra large size. A romance between the two thus begins. You're dirty. That, you're nasty. Have That's a good one, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we end on? That's it. Have a good one. Have an extra large 2020. <laughs> we'll see you uh, next week. <laughs>